Hey YouTube, Sweet Knives here. We got another WorkSharp update. I mean, the system here, it just keeps getting better and better. As you guys know, I find some really cool stuff for this system. So I'm not gonna be able to go through every single thing that I have on it today, but I'm gonna show you a few things that I think are really cool and kind of take it to the next level. So the first is this. This is a special clamp mechanism that allows you to clamp the actual WorkSharp unit onto your table. Right now it's not bad, um, but this takes it to the next level. So I got this from Practical 3DP on eBay. Um, it just screws like this. So this is really cool. I'm gonna show you how it works. You just put it on your table like this underneath and then you tighten it up. So I'm just tightening it up right now, like so. Now it's solid, it can't move. And then this piece here just slides in underneath. And then you take these screws and you just tighten them up. So that's all you do it. Every one, you just do a little bit. Once you do that, the system's locked into place and it's not going anywhere. Pretty neat. Um, now, this is the last piece here. One of the really, really neat things that I like about Practical 3DP is he didn't just make this base, he also made some other attachments. This here is a scissors attachment. So this actually inserts into this piece right here. I'll show you this. And I'm gonna make an entirely separate video on this, but look at how that works just sticks into there you put this in here and then you put your scissors right in here you just lay your scissors there and then you can sharpen so that'll be another video coming up the other thing he has is a chisel attachment this is a look at the chisel attachment same thing here and one of the cool things is it's got magnets so as you're getting this all lined up and it's not that hard in fact i'll make another video um, on this as well but there you go just like that and you tighten that up just like just like so that's tightened up put the chisel right in here and now you can do your chisel so really cool the other cool thing that he has is um, these adapters that allow you to put stones so if you have six inch stones or the five inch stones you just put your stone in here put that on the rod and voila, you can now use any stone you want with your WorkSharp, which is really, really a cool feature. So he's got all these different ones, four inch or six inch. And then the other thing that he has is this little cool um, gizmo here. This just fits on underneath here like this. So once you get that tightened up, um, and I gotta, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. So, we're gonna actually sharpen this little knife. This is the super small classic knife, which for a while I wasn't even sure if you could sharpen this, but you can. So I'm gonna put it in here. And this is kind of tricky. I'm doing this real time, guys, so you're gonna have to bear with me. But you just put it on the edge, like the teensy bitsy edge, like that. Otherwise, this won't work. And then you tighten it up. But it's got to be just on the edge. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. And just like that. This piece here um, allows you to hold any, any, uh, any, you know, it allows this piece to stay solid. So you gotta, you gotta get the adjustment right here. Hang on. This 
like that. Now it's solid. See how that can't go down? I got that little, that little piece under there. Uh, that's really cool to use in certain circumstances. You don't need it on every, every one, but it's definitely helpful. That's what the piece looks like. That's so this piece stays level. So let's sharpen this little bad boy up. I got it set to 25 degrees. That's about what I need it to be um, for this to all work. I'm going to just back this up just to here and we will put on the, let's see. I don't need to go real low, so I'm just going to start out with 600 grit because I've kind of already, um, I've already been practicing this a little bit. So I'm going to just start with 600 grit here. And I do have the, you know, when you do this right, you can see it's not hitting this piece. It's just hitting the, the blade right now. So you just go a little bit like that. Take it like this. Flip it around, do the other side. Take it around, do the other side. These are very hard to sharpen because there's not a lot of sharpeners that can do, that can do that small of a blade. This one can, but you got to take your time and get it. You got to get it just right. Let's move to 800. So I actually, this is the, the upgraded edition where you get 800 diamonds. leave a link to all these attachments in the description so you guys can buy them good on 800 these ones you don't have to spend a lot of time on the Swiss Army they're not the hardest deal so here we got the ceramic now And if you have lapping films and you want to use those, you can. I'm not going to use the lapping films today, but um, definitely not a bad idea if you have them. I'm going to use the leather. So I got a leather one here. Um, I'm going to use that instead. Just because I carry this one and I don't need it. I, yeah, you know, I use it all the time. So I don't need a mirror edge right this second. But um, in this case, I just go down because I don't want to wreck the leather. Flip it over, do the other side. What I'm trying to do is just get this one really sharp. Flip it over. For what I'm doing, that should be pretty good. Let's undo this. Let's see. Let's see how sharp we got it. Hell yeah. Damn good. Just like that, guys. That's how you do it. I mean, really easy. I mean, what did we do that in like, I don't know, five minutes? Super easy. That's about the smallest knife, the smallest blade you'll ever get. Um, Again, I had to take a little bit of time to get it in there just right, but once I did, I was able to sharpen it. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say. I love this knife. I carry it with me every single day. So you can do any, almost any size knife with this system. Uh, and with some of these attachments that secure it to a table and the scissors, I mean, you, it really is endless what you can do with this system. So hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already lot more stuff. I'm going to demonstrate these other attachments coming up in a future video. Um, sorry, I just didn't get, just didn't get, uh, didn't get the time today, but I got these other three that I'm going to make videos on and, uh, 
Again, I'll put the links for Practical 3DP in the description. You can buy them off of eBay. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.